Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We just hit 800 subscribers. I'd like to thank you all so much for the support. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for weekly car content. I've had many people ask me, Eddie, why can't I put anything in your trunk? What is that thing? What do you need it for? I've had many people ask me to explain what meth injection is. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about it. Hopefully, you'll get a better understanding of what it is and what it does, and why you wanna have it on your car, especially your turbocharged car. We got chilly with intercoolers, but today, we're gonna to get downright cold with meth injection. First, I'm gonna talk about the components. You have a tank, a pump, and a nozzle at the front. The tank holds your water meth. Then the pump pumps it through to the nozzle, which then sprays it into your intake. This process of meth injection is controlled by a water meth controller and is boost dependent. That means that the more boost that your car is producing, the more water meth will be injected. Because if you're injecting too little, uh, it'll actually have no effect. The air is rushing by it so quickly that it doesn't have time to actually uh, perform its job. Vacuum line from your intake manifold to the back of your controller gives your controller a real time manifold pressure so with this it can calculate how much meth needs to be injected the more boost you have of course the more meth you're going to need so with the aem kit that i have there's three different meth bungs which uh, are different size holes the more boost you're creating the larger bung that you're going to need now that you kind of understand the basics of the injection part and kind of how it's injected obviously it goes from the tank to the pump to the bung at the front and it just gets sprayed now we have to get to the water meth part Obviously, water is just water, and meth is actually methyl alcohol, which is very light, volatile, and of course, very flammable liquid. Why we mix it with water uh, partially is because of safety. Meth burns with a almost invisible flame, so if you were to get into an accident or if it were to somehow catch fire, you wouldn't know, right? So you wouldn't be able to see it until pretty much it's too late or your car burns down or you know you put other people at risk it blows up what have you now when you mix it 50 50 with water it is no longer flammable so even if you were to like have a spark or, or something were to happen it no longer poses that great of a risk my aim kit specifically says on the kit not to use more than a 50 50 mix i'm sure you could use more than a 50 50 mix but i've heard that its cooling properties are actually diminished because you need the water in order to provide that cooling that it does which i'm going to get to next now you have an idea of the system its components kind of how it works and the water meth itself what you're actually putting in it let's go a little bit into why you would want water meth and what exactly it does. We have to understand some like simple thermodynamics here. There's an exothermic reaction, something that releases heat, and then there's something called an endothermic reaction, which absorbs heat from its surroundings. Now, spraying water meth is exactly that. It's an endothermic reaction. So when you spray it and it atomizes in the air, it actually sucks heat from the surrounding atmosphere. So what happens when you spray it into your intake, of course, it creates colder air. So you obviously spray it after the intercooler, so the air has already been cooled, but as I've explained in previous videos, even with an intercooler, it is very hard to get below ambient temperature. Even if you're boosting the car hard, even if you're driving fast, you'll get to what ambient temperature is. So let's say it's zero degrees outside, your intake air temperature will get to maybe minus one if you're going real fast. Well, with meth, it can get way colder. It can get to like minus 10, minus 15. Now, why do we want that? As I've explained in my intercooler video, colder air is better. Colder air means more power. Why? The molecules in cold air aren't moving around as much, which means that you can stuff more of them into a given space. You can increase the volumetric efficiency of your cylinders. More volumetric efficiency, more air, more power. So that's definitely what you want. But wait, there's more. Meth also has the added benefit of increasing the octane rating of the gasoline charge going into your cylinder. The gasoline is now able to withstand higher pressures. Your car can run more advanced timing and create even more power. So not only does it cool down the intake air making it denser and making the volumetric efficiency of each explosion higher but it also increases the octane rating of the gasoline so meth actually helps twofold i think it's a powerful mod that you can do now i know you're going to be thinking but eddie 
what if I blow my car up? I don't want to take that risk. And I totally understand you. Here's the thing. I run a meth kit in my car and I do not have a meth tune. I think, at least in my personal opinion, you guys can tell me in the comments if you think differently. Meth is very safe. When you run a meth tune, that's when your car knows that it has meth, right? So you're running more advanced timing. You're running it into danger territory because you have it. So that's when you need something called a fail safe, okay? I do not have a fail safe in my system because I don't have a meth tune right so fail safe is let's say the pump gets stuck or you're not getting the correct amount of meth or the pressure isn't correct or there's a leak or whatever it will shut it off and will automatically retard timing so it won't have it run so advanced so that you'll you know potentially blow your car up if you don't have a tune like me all it does is it takes your current tune and makes it run to the full potential so i have a stratified pro tune i can tell you a hundred percent that when i have the meth on the car is so much faster it gets so much less knock retard which if you watch my what to watch on your cob video you'll see that i watch knock retard in cylinder one two three and four by watching that i can tell how much time timing is taken away right when i run the meth it's pretty much nothing like 0.75 if that the meth definitely helps with knock retardation and i can for sure tell you because i also watch intake air temperature that the intake air temperature gets way down there i do have the large majesty uh direct replacement intercooler which does a great job usually it's ambient maybe like two three degrees celsius above ambient but with the meth on oh yeah it goes to even 10 degrees below ambient sometimes which which is nice the car definitely feels faster and it makes a lot more power flames you get some real nice meth flames like i was saying i do not have a meth tune which makes it safe because i turn the meth off and i can still run the car i don't need to change tunes it's fine it's tuned for 94 that's what it runs on but once you give it the meth it basically takes you to the top of that map to the peak of your tune and makes your car perform so much better while still being safe if the mess system were to cut out or something were to happen my car will still be okay because it doesn't know that it's getting that meth it's not relying on it it's not pushing timing so hard and so yeah sure maybe the gains aren't like 60 horsepower maybe they're 40 or 45 you know what that's fine for me honestly if it were to not make a difference i would tell you but I highly recommend getting a meth kit on your car, especially if you have a turbocharged vehicle. It'll make a huge difference. That's what meth injection is about. If you learned something, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next week.